Welcome into Sunday Sermon, where we, uh, oops, sorry about that, where we use uh, the United Independent Compensatory Co-System concept book. It's a, uh, it's a compensatory counter-racist code book um, by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be the uh, revised, expanded edition of, from the uh, 1984 uh, book, and it's a, it's a, work, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. describes as white supremacy. Okay, now um, uh, every Sunday we read we read from the book, and uh, um, we're we're, st- we're going to deal with the area of sex because there are there are nine areas of uh, of human activity as Mr. Neely Fuller would want to to uh, to tell folks, and uh, they are. And you see, there's a extensive thing here. They they are. Um, the nine areas that is. Oh, where is it? Here we go. The nine areas are economics, uh, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, that would be people relationships, uh, religion, sex, and war, counter war. Now, Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. Uh, is on the internet every uh, every Tuesday from nine in the morning to about 11 Eastern Standard Time, and he, but they don't deal with the uh, war, counter war uh, section. Uh, but oh, but we uh, we deal with we 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 will deal with that eventually. But uh, uh, but when I um, when we uh, do our thing in uh, Dimbaza, where this book is going to be read, the original 1984 edition, um, then uh, we will we won't deal with sex, but we will deal with war. But be that as it may, let's let's deal with this. It's, it's an interesting thing. He has um, under under the area of sex on page uh, 298. Right, he has, um, put this down here, 298, I'm going to do something interesting, well, it's interesting to me, I don't know how interesting it is to you, but uh, page 298, right, 298, write that down, now, he it, it, uh, usually he has the, well, he has it, the bold is the question, and then he, then he gives his answers to these questions, now this particular uh, question uh, the answers goes on for a number of pages. So rather than me sit here and read the, all the pages, which are all the answers are, are for that he's given, because the answers he has a hundred thirty answers. So rather than than do that, let's just pick out some, right? So the question is: Before the first act of sexual intercourse and or sexual play with a non-white person. Mutual agreement to ask and truthfully answer all of the following questions, plus whatever additional questions that may come to mind. So this is like an instruction thing. It's the textbook workbook. So it says, before you enter a relationship with, with, with someone, uh, then you should ask, well, he's given 130 uh, uh, um, uh, questions, um, but he says you have to ask up to, uh, when, you know, well, listen, when I've heard him on the radio, he's said he's... He's asked up. You should ask up to three hundred questions. There's a lot of questions before you, uh, as we say, kick boots, right? So I'm just gonna, you know, let me let me, let me do this quick. Let me do um, here. Say, say for instance, question three. These are examples. Say, question three would be: Have you ever been put into greater confinement? That would be jail, prison, stockade, etc. If so, when? Where? How many times? For what reason? Okay, that's a that's a normal question. Well, I see a normal question. Let's go let's go to question five here, right? Question five would be Do you have any health problems? If so, what are they? What health problems have you had in the past? Okay. Yes, okay, hey, we're going good here. That was uh that was uh that was three, that was five. Okay. And yeah, let's keep on going like that. We're not going to go for too long, right? Let's let's keep on skipping. Let's go to question seven. Do you have or have you ever had any sisters or brothers? If so, how many? And where are they now? Okay, so these are lots of cool questions. But, you know, you can, you can go out on a date and keep these questions going. I mean, you know, these are regular questions when you first meet somebody, no? Okay. And he says, ask these questions before you, you know, you get in a, what they say, horizontal position. I know some people do the vertical or whatever. Don't worry about that part. Uh, question nine. Do you have? Uh, do you now receive money that is being paid to you 
on a regular basis? And if so, for what reason? Okay, there we go. That's nine. That's another. That's another question. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, let's let's let, 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 let's get off of that. That, that was page two ninety nine. Let's uh no oh, let's yeah let's not go past tw twenty. Let's let's keep on going like we've been going. Right. Question eleven. As of now, whom do you most depend on to provide you with food, garments, and uh uh, uh what is that? Food, garments, shelter, transportation, medical care, and constructive learning facilities. Hmm, that would be question 11. Okay. Uh huh. Question. Now let's, let's, let's skip because we're going we're to end this. Just, just, just give you a flavor of what, 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 he's, what he's saying. I'm just going to stay in these two pages. Okay, question 16. Right? What is the total number of non white people that you have engaged in sexual intercourse, oral sex, and or anal intercourse with? Oh, we get a little detail here, huh? Okay, so that's that's question sixteen, right? So you get the gist of this, right? Okay, let me just go. Let me just end this with this uh, with uh, I guess question eighteen. What is the total number of white or non-white people that you have engaged in homosexual and or lesbian anti uh, anti-sexual acts? Whoa! Shall we end so we'll end on that now? This is interesting before for me now I'm gonna do a little interpretation. There's this uh this thing called the negative confessions uh from from the from Egypt from the Egyptology uh, kind of branch of thing. And what it is is uh is uh, uh, every night when you go back to the royal when they go to the royal palace they ask questions. Now they can say like, have you lied today? Then you say, well, if you haven't lied, you say no. If you lied, you say yes. Uh, have you stolen from? Have you stolen cattle from the king or from the from the pharaoh? You say, no. Uh, you say no. Haven't stolen cattle from from, from, the, from the pharaoh, right? Now let's say for oh, have you have you talked ill of uh, of your neighbor? Let's just say that's one of the questions. You say no, I haven't talked ill of there. But if you have, say for yeah, but you said no. That means that. Not only that is wrong, but when you said you never, you didn't lie that day, that means that's two that you didn't do. Now, only you know, you know, if you lied or whatever it is, but that, but that, this means that if you know every, or every so often somebody, say for instance, you get your uh, six-year-old uh, 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 daughter to ask these questions, you don't want to lie to your daughter every day. So when you're doing stuff, if you're going to talk ill of somebody, you, you think twice before talking ill of them. Right. It doesn't mean you can't talk ill of them. It just means that you're going to be asked about that and you have to give an honest answer because, well, it's your daughter. You see. So. So in this thing, I don't think. Well, for me, these are not they're not saying you can't have, for instance, with that thing, uh, you can't have anal sex or whatever, homosexual, whatever you can or lesbian sex. That is, you can't have it. We just ask it. Have you? Just just a, a situation. Uh, as read uh, from the compensatory concept, the code book by me, T from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I uh, only interpret, what I only suspect. <laughs>